The final overview trailer for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl has been released and we've got a ton of other leaks and really fun things to cover in this video, so let's dive in. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today and today we are looking at the world of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, including the most recent overview trailer posted by Nintendo, which we're going to watch, react to, and enjoy the beautiful sights of the Sinnoh region. And then we're going to talk about some other cool things like the Poke Radar and the fact that it's actually broken, some really cool hacks that have been done, and even some shiny stuff that I think you guys will enjoy. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoy this video, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget, I'm doing a Nintendo Switch giveaway with a copy of BDSP on my brand new website at adrivelive.com. You can join for free today and sign up in the top corner. You can check out all the exclusive posts there, and uh, if you become a paid member, you actually unlock some even more content, including some t-shirt teasers, discounts, and much, much more, but you can enter the giveaway by just simply making an account for free. So check it out at adrivelive.com. Without further ado, let's dive into the most recent trailer, and then we're gonna take a look at all that other cool stuff. Okay, so Pokemon has, or Nintendo posted this, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl overview trailer, and I think it's actually got some really cool stuff in it. So let's take a peek. What do we got? I think there's a voiceover too. You got the Piplup. Set off on a grand adventure with Pokemon through the Sinnoh region. Oh, baby. Who voiced this? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon I definitely Shining don't recognize Pearl. this voiceover voice. The adventure begins. Kooky. Travel to a nearby lake alongside your childhood friend. Starly's attacking you. You don't have a hat on. Pokemon you get to pick your starter. For you there. Now you won't see if it's shiny until you actually send them into battle, like this stage. Once Professor Rowan, a Pokemon researcher, recruits you to complete the Pokédex, your adventure begins. Completing the Pokedex in this game is this just is seeing every Pokemon, region. by the way. You don't have to catch Comprised them all. Comprised of expansive mountain ranges, grassy fields, bountiful lakes, mountain paths, and snow-laden trails, Sinnoh is a land both rich I and I love Floroma. That's sick. The Sinnoh region Pokemon. The Pokemon inhabit the Sinnoh region. Depending on the location, the Pokemon that appear will differ. Drifloon! It's gonna pop up on Fridays, which is the day the game comes out, which is kind of sick. You'll select moves for your Pokemon to use against opponents. You win once your opponent's HP drops to zero. Why is that Bidoof level 17 in this Turtwig is what? the opponent is weakened, you can throw a Pokeball for a chance to catch it. I like that you can press X to throw the Pokeball still. I feel like this is like a very basic Pokemon, overview. And they'll become great allies you can rely on. Swift coming off. Get some berries. Uh, Sinnoh region you trainers. Sinnoh region, you'll have the chance to battle other Pokemon trainers. Yeah, we knew that. Starly. They've got the double battle sections. My boy Cole with his Gyarados. Okay. Keeping it in against Electric type. Trainers who will team up with you. Cheryl running the round. You get Riley and his Lucario. Very nice. That's in uh, Iron Island. As you level up your skills, you can challenge each town's gym leader. I love the Pokeball way. seals, man. Gym look at how sick they look. All the flower petals. In a certain type of Pokemon. I love it. Yo, he's got a sick ball, ball capsules. If you defeat them in battle, you'll receive a gym badge as proof of your victory. But you can, uh, you know, clean the up. Strongest Pokemon trainer in the Sinnoh region. Bro, use the ground move. The Grand, I'm excited about the Grand Underground. During this seems adventure, dope. You can enter the Grand Underground from the field. The Grand Underground is a vast subterranean world beneath the entire Sinnoh region. I'm excited for the Underground. Like the fact that there's the different biomes and stuff too. And a pickaxe to dig into walls. You might unearth valuable items and Pokemon statues. And the statues are cool. You can also build your very own secret base. My dude just threw down the statues. There are also places called Pokemon hideaways. This is one of the coolest things. Here, this, this you is may sick. encounter uncommon Pokemon living in a variety of habitats. So this is, you can apparently get Munchlax down there, which is like probably one of the best mons because it's so hard to get Pokemon otherwise. In super contest shows. Dress up in I have outfit. pretty limited desire to do this contest show stuff, if I'm being honest. Dance by tapping along to the rhythm and appeal to the judges with a contest move. I mean, 
That's kind of cool, I guess. Not. Does anyone do the contest? I probably ain't gonna do them. be rewarded with stickers, which can be used to customize. Well, if there's gonna be stickers, then that's a whole nother thing. I like the stickers though. Is a handy gadget for your travels. The pedometer and the dousing machine are just a couple of useful apps on this device. Yeah, that's kind of sick. It seems as though you can collapse it too. Like it doesn't have to stay there. You, you can close out of it. As you continue your yeah, you can just close out of it region. too. And the fact that you don't have to have the eight gems is so clutch too. With local and online play, you can battle and trade Pokemon with other trainers. Software update Enjoy required. Connecting with trainers near and far. The biggest thing though, you can do contests online. That's cool. Um, the biggest thing though is you can't. Um, the battle timer, bro. We talked about that. The battle timer is bro rough. Passed down through the ages. There's also the mysterious organization Team Galactic. Who's I don't know how mysterious they are, activities. but. And the legendary Pokemon are closely connected to how your adventure will unfold. I think the game, like, the game has definitely grown on me in terms of visuals. In the Sinnoh region. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Available November 19th on Nintendo Switch. Did yeah, I think this is, uh, this is it Nintendo for them. So I think that's pretty much it for what we're gonna see for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I, I really think if they're gonna do any other trailers or anything else, it's gonna come on Friday. But I think that's probably the last one. And this one is actually trending on YouTube. It's got about 400,000 views at the time I'm recording this. So it's it's pretty big in terms of viewership. Uh, I think anyone expecting any secrets at this point for BDSP, uh, you're gonna be pretty disappointed because I don't think we're getting any more secrets. But shifting gears, we got some really cool stuff. Uh, the first one is this person KD, and I'll link them in the description below. Uh, this is some spoiler gameplay, but not a huge deal. They actually found a Shawnee starter Piplup. And if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be doing a 153 hour marathon on my live stream. And I'm, I'm on the fence still whether I'm shining hunting Turtwig. I might just random encounter, I'm not sure. But they actually got the Shawnee Piplup. They said it was about a, a 1,067 resets. If you told me I would get it in 1,067, bro, I would be all over it. I would be all over that. Like, I would 100% get it. But because, you know, you could go for so long to get it. I don't know. I like the shiny sparkles. They look really clean. So congrats on your shiny pip love. That's pretty dope. From there, we actually got some really cool posts. Uh, this person, Ghost Soup, posted that they, they actually modified the sizes of the various Pokemon, which I think is awesome, dude. Like, this is one of the coolest things. So they took the Pokemon of what they look like in terms of how BDSP scales them and then resized them to what they should be. And it's amazing, like so much better. So the ROM hacking scene for this game is gonna be nuts. Like little things like this, right? Like resizing the Pokemon so that they're the proper size. So that way it's more immersive. I feel like it's huge. All this stuff, man. I've seen that there's mods to turn off the experience share. So much more. Look at this Waylord if it was to scale. I think people are gonna break this game. What do you think? From there, we've actually got uh, some shifting gear to the Pokey Radar. Um, we've got this little clip here. I'm gonna pull it up for you guys. This little clip shows the hidden hidden uh, ability patches. You can see that the patch in the top right or on the right hand side has a different animation, and that is indicative indicative of hidden ability Pokemon through the Pokey Radar. So, shots this little clip here on Reddit showing how to get hidden ability Pokemon through Pokey Radar, and we'll have like a full Pokey Radar guide that we're gonna drop. Uh, once we get our hands in the game, we're playing through it and stuff. And then shifting gears, we know that there's uh, some some bugs with the Poke Radar. Actually, there's a Poke Radar bug with flawless IVs. It should be granting one flawless IV when reaching a chain of 20 plus, then two flawless IVs at 30 plus and three at 40 plus. But it only gives the flawless IVs on that exact number. In between those numbers, like 21 to 29, does not grant the flawless IVs. So Poke Radar was coded incorrectly. Kurt Kavadix also reporting on the Shiny Charm and the Pokey Radar rates. Um, the Shiny Charm doesn't really impact it much, which we covered already, but you can go as high as one in 99 for a chain of 40, which is pretty massive. Like a one, basically a one in a hundred chance to get a Shiny with the Pokey Radar at a chain in 40. That's like really, really good. That's way better than what I expected it was gonna be. So that's pretty much that for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see any more gameplay. I don't think there's really any more secrets that are gonna be uncovered until we get our hands in the game and we can just enjoy it. 
Uh, I've seen a lot of really cool stuff about the post game though, so that's exciting, but no big secrets, guys. I don't think we're gonna see anything there, but you see the modding scene is already in full effect, and it seems like there's a few bugs that hopefully they'll patch by the time the game actually releases on Friday. If you guys haven't pre-ordered the game yet, you can use my link in the description below at Best Buy. It helps me out. And don't forget to sign up for my website at adrivelive.com where you can sign up for free today. And just by making an account, you have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Let me know your thoughts on Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl in the comments section below. Like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.